Hi, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Yulaine. I'm the owner of Love Basket Express. Okay, y'all. So, um, we're putting together real, really simple gifts. I want to start with the, the simple ones first and then work my way to the most challenging ones or the ones that will take me most, most of the, my time. Um, so, I'm going to use the little baskets we got for 30 cents at the Dollar General 90% um, off haul. Um, I'm using these little... I want to say these are for pastries or baking or something. I'm not sure. I was given these a while back. When I say a while back, I'm talking about like four or five years ago. Um, and I still have a whole bunch left. So I always use these at like the bottom of, of certain things, containers and stuff that I need like an extra, you know, little padded base or whatever. Um, I'm going to be using this box of hot chocolates. We're going to be using the brownie sets, the skillet sets that we got for $1.50 at uh, Walmart, 75% off. I'm going to use two disposable Valentine's Day cups. Um, they come with the lids and also the little hand protectors to keep your hands from burning with the hot cocoa in it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we're going to add one of our, um, real touch foam roses. Um, I have these in all colors. I ordered these off Amazon. I have them in pink. Um, I have them in red. And those are the only colors I have so far for Valentine's Day because that's what I use. Um, and I have several, 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 several. Because I ordered them in large quantities. So, as you can see, we're prepared. And these are, um, I ordered them last year, I believe. Yeah, last Christmas, before Christmas, to stock up. So, I don't know how much they are now. Um, you can look it up on Amazon, Real Touch Roses foam roses and they'll pop up they should pop up no problems um but yeah they feel like real roses but they're just made of like styrofoam petals and then they just shape them together they come on a stem like this but you know you can snip the stem or take the stem out of it out all together it's just up to you all right so we're gonna put this together um we're gonna bring this screen down y'all hold on just a second All right, so I just want to see if y'all can actually see this a little bit. Um, basically, I've done a few of these already, so I am out of the red cherry. So we're going to open up another bag. This is the red cherry we get from Walmart on the clearance hall. I'm pretty sure some more still left in the stores, so y'all just look out for it in the, where the gift boxes and wrapping paper and all that stuff is. Um, I'm basically just going to line this stuff up. There's no particular order. Well, there's an order, but these, um, it's only a few items I'm using, so it's not going to take long to do this. Bring some of this out. I need to separate it. And this is just, I'm just filling in around everything. Um, and I like one of the thing I like about this shred right here is that it comes kind of grouped together, so it's not like it's just gonna totally sink down in the holes of this basket, which is awesome. As you can see, you see I'm pulling it out; it's already grouped together, so I just basically lay it in there like that. Okay, I need to get this back corner, and we are done with this shred. I just touched that hot glue, baby. That was not pretty. I didn't touch the glue part, but I touched the gun itself, and it still was hot. Add a little bit more to this back area. So, adding it just like that, it goes all the way around, but as you can see, it's really not coming off the bottom. Um, so, that's one thing I like about this particular shred. You know, some shred is just like a whole bunch of strings, and it just seeps straight through. Um, next thing, we're going to make sure we make a spot for our little cup protectors, our hand protectors on the cups. Um, then we're going to add a rose in there, just like so. And then it's going to add this little heart. I'm actually going to hot glue it so it kind of stands out a little bit. Too much glue on 
the hot glue to the skillet box. That way it stands out a little bit. And then the little hand protector things for the cup says just a little cup of love. So I thought that was really cute to go with these little gift sets. And this is how it turned out. Just a simple little gift set. Um, and then I got my little handy dandy red string here. Um, I want to add a little extra flavor to this. So I'm going to tie a bow around the skillet handle. So that's how it turned out looking. So now it looks like more like a gift set. Um, and as you can see, it's just something simple. And then we're gonna tie, bring off another one. So we'll have one to use with that cellophane. So I'm not using bags this time. I'm actually gonna use this um, heart cellophane. It has a bunch of hearts on it. As you can see, um, this came from Amazon. I want to say it cost me maybe like $12.99, maybe less than that. Um, I chose to get it for like my smaller gifts so that I will be able to um, not use my bags and use my bags for the gifts that actually fit the bags. <laughs> so... I pick this up. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to wrap it. Make sure my edges, my end pieces are straight. And then the sides, I'm just going to close them off like a present. So how I kind of do that is I put the back over the over it first, and then I add the front over that. And I turn it sideways so I can see what I am doing. Fold it in. Fold it in. Give it down, go to the other side, push it in, make sure it's nice and tight, because that side is already taped down, and we'll just fold it over again. taped down both sides as you can see both sides have been taped down just like a gift present I folded one side in the other side over and taped it down and we're just gonna pull it and close it up so I always start in the middle even on small baskets honey <laughs> and I bring the end pieces in I always pull to make sure we got it as tight as we can get it, the snug. And I want the bow in the front from the other little ribbon, so. Gonna tie that off for right now, make a bow with it. And 
And if we need to trim this part, we'll trim it. All we needed to trim was a little bit, which is great. And anything else you need to secure off, we'll do that afterwards. And there you go. Small little gift set, ready to go. All you need to do is grab your, put your bigger bow on it. I'm gonna use the same string for the big bow. I'm just gonna wait until I make the bow and then I'm gonna take this string and tie it and then tie it back on here. Um, but yeah, this is how it turned out. Little skillet gift with hot cocoa. I'm gonna tape it down so I don't like the little piece hanging off the edge. There we go. All smooth now. Uh, <laughs> and two cups. Ready to go for the, the sweet couple to just enjoy. A small little token, you know. Sometimes it don't take much. Sometimes, you know, people just want something simple. So, we're going to make some simple gifts. And then we're going to make some extravagant out-of-this-world gifts. But we're going to save those for last because those, like I said, are a process. They take time. Um, and I want to do that closer to getting all the easy gifts out the way. That way, all of my numbers will be up as far as, like, my hitting my goal. And then I can just do whatever and flow whatever um, close to the end. But I've already re pretty much reached my goal with the simple gifts and the easy gifts. All of them are not going to be simple, but some of them are more easier than others. So that's the reason why I'm starting here first. So um, just want to get some cute little, you know, it don't have to necessarily be bears and everything else. But, um I just want to be different and have different stuff to offer people because you never know what people may want. Um, but anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.